This interactive demo of financial management with CA Clarity PPM is the third of a comprehensive series of demonstrations presented by Digital Celerity, a premier CA Technologies partner and the leading provider of Clarity Consulting, Training, and Expert Services. As the number one reseller of CA Clarity PPM in North America, Digital Celerity is delighted to share our knowledge, exchange ideas, and build the CA Clarity PPM community. Hi uh, Bill, thanks for joining me this afternoon uh, and demonstrating clarity to me. Um, the area I'm interested in is the whole area of financial controls and financial management within clarity. We as an organization set departmental budgets and those are based upon project budgets. We set them at the start of each year and then we just seem to ignore them. And I think some projects underspend, but the majority of projects overspend their budgets. And I'm not really sure where we are at any point in time on the financials of the project. So can you show me how, in clarity, we can accurately plan the cost of the project, set the budgets, and then track spend against those budgets, please? Sure, Chris. I can show you how, uh, using clarity, you can create a cost plan for a project that will capture all the planned costs for the project, both labor and non-labor costs. And then I can also show you how you approve that project cost plan as a budget, which then allows you to compare your forecasted costs versus your approved budgeted costs. Let's go ahead and uh, go into Clarity. And what we're looking at now is the Clarity homepage. And uh, I have a list of uh, projects, my projects that I'm tracking here. I'm going to go ahead and um, drill into a project called e-commerce portal to show you how you uh, create those cost plans for um, an individual project. So labor costs obviously are a big part of a, a project. So I want to show you how labor costs are captured on a project first. So first, I'm going to click on the Team tab. This will show me the team that is working on this project and the hours that they're planning on working. So we have all these individual resources, and we have all the hours they're planning to work on this on this project. Um, now Clarity has uh, what's called a rate matrix. And what that allows you to do is convert these hours into dollars um, by using a rate. And that rate can be determined in a number of ways, but one very typical way of determining it is by role and by location. So for example, each resource has a role. We're seeing that here, a business analyst, a developer, an architect. And a developer in the US, for example, may have a different rate than a developer in India. Or an architect in San Jose may have a different uh, rate than an architect in New York. So this the rate matrix allows you to find those rates, and then when you create a cost plan based on um, on your on your staff plan, Clarity will automatically calculate your planned labor costs for you. So let's see how take a look at how that works. I'm going to click on the financial plans tab for this project, which will show me my my financial plans for the e-commerce project. And I'm going to go ahead and create a plan based on the project team. Um, so let's go ahead and name this plan. We'll call it the uh, initial cost. We'll call it the cost plan uh, number one. And within this cost plan, uh, you can set your plan up to be either a monthly cost or you might want to set up a quarterly cost or annual cost or weekly cost. So it depends on how you track costs within your company. I'll go ahead and set it for monthly. And you can also group all of your costs. Um, in this case, we're going to go ahead and group by cost type, which is either capital cost or um, operating expenses, um, and by transaction class, which is type of cost, for example, inter internal labor or external labor or travel. Um, but there's a lot of options here. If you want to, you could, try, you could um, group it by department or by location. Or there's various ways of capturing how you want to group your costs within your plan, project, cost plan. Let's go ahead and save this. When I do this, Clarity is going to run all the hours for the project staff through that rate matrix and generate a cost plan based on your labor. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now what we see here is um, we have two line items. Uh, both are operating um, expenses. The one is external labor and one is internal labor. And that's because the resources on the project, some of them are employees and some are contractors. Um, and so they have a trans associated transaction class, 
um, and rate, which allows you to calculate the overall cost here. So they have a total of 60, almost $64,000 of cost for external labor and almost 74000 for internal. And further, that's broken down on a monthly basis based on the hours in which um, those resources are plan uh, planned to work. So that captures the labor cost for you. And it does so by automatically translating those hours into dollars. So the next step is how do you capture your non-labor cost? To do that, we'll go ahead and just click Add here. And let's add, a, uh, let's add our travel costs, for example. Uh, we know we're going to have some on this project, so those are operating expenses. And um, we'll define that as a cost type. We'll pick Travel as our transaction class. Um, and we'll go ahead and uh, save that. And that's, now we have a new line item here called Travel. And then we can go and set. So when do we plan to spend travel money? Let's say we spend 5000 in um, May and another 5000 in June. Go ahead and save that. So now what we've done is in addition to our labor, we've added our travel cost as well um, to, the, uh, to the system. So that's how you add non-labor costs. You can continue on to add you know, other costs, hardware costs, server costs, consulting costs, etc., as, as well. So that's your basic means for handling both your labor costs and your non-labor costs. So that gives you your forecasted cost plan for the project. So to continue answering your question, the next step is, well, how do I, how do I, you know, approve those cost plans so that I can then track uh, forecast versus budget. Um, and to do that, basically you go ahead and um, save this cost plan and you come back to the to our cost plan list and there's a, a link here for um, submitting the plan of record for approval. So you submit that cost plan for approval. And what that does is notifies your financial manager it needs to be approved and they go ahead and review and if they approve the project, the cost plan, then basically a snapshot of that cost plan is made as a budget. And uh, you then have that uh, as a comparison. The snapshot of the cost plan is the approved budget. And then the cost plan can continue to change as time goes on. You may have more labor and then update your labor efforts. You may have changed your different um, non-labor costs. And then you can compare your plans forecasted cost against that approved budgeted cost. Okay, that's great. Um, so I can see how these cost plans and budgets can get set up, the forecasts. I can see how you can change things and get approvals. Um, but what facilities are there to report these figures out to the financial committee and to the board? What sort of portals and reports? Uh, are in the system to be able to show that. So Clarity, Clarity provides uh, over 50 out-of-the-box reports, um, and many of them are based on financials. Um, I'll show you a few examples of these to show you the kinds of reports you can get out of Clarity. Again, this is just some samples. There's quite a few more. Um, there's also a number of dashboards and portlets. This, these um, samples will give you a good idea of the types of report, financial reporting you can do on Clarity once you have this basic information set up of cost plans and budget. Let me go back to uh, my uh, some sample reports here. So here's one called financial budget versus forecast by period. And all this is doing is for a given number of projects, and it may be projects um, within a certain department, um, it may be all the projects within a, in a business unit, it may be projects of a certain type of project. You can, you can um, filter the report as you want. But what's essentially giving you is for all those projects, let me show the breakdown of capital versus operating expense. Let me show you, again, the overall budgeted cost versus the forecast cost. So again, that forecast is that cost plan which we created and can continue to evolve as the project evolves. The budget is that snapshot of the cost plan. So we go ahead and compare those across the board and any variance as well and it'll be split down by capital versus operating. So it's just basically taking um, all of those cost plans and budgets on the projects, say for a given department, and then generating this, this um, report by period. So let me show you a second report here. This is financial capitalization by investment. So what it's doing here is taking by project type, so these are projects that contribute to a certain overall 
um, initiatives. So, for example, application management has a couple of different projects here, client services um, and global expense applications. Internal initiatives here has some other projects, or online order management has a number of projects. And for each of these projects, then, it shows you what are my overall plan costs versus um, you know, plan capital costs versus actual capital, plan remaining costs and percent of capital spent, expense plan costs versus expense actual, expense plan remaining, expense spent. So it's taking that same information out of cost plans and budgets and saying what and comparing those with actual to give an overall uh, financial capitalization report um, on individual investments as well as investments within a group of, pro of projects or a, a department's full set of projects. Here's a similar report, financial forecast review by investments. And this is really just giving you a very similar view. And again, this is by type of project. It could be grouped by department. You get a departmental view of this. Um, it's showing you basically budget, um, budget costs versus actual costs versus forecasted costs. So it's letting you track that at both the project and departmental view. I'll show you one last, one last report. This is just a, a detailed look into an individual project report. So we're on an individual project called online order improvement. And it's showing you something similar to what you, we saw before in the, in the cost plan, which is under capital costs, we have internal labor and license costs. Under expense, we have external labor, internal labor, lease costs, et cetera. And it'll show you your budget costs versus actual spent to date, budget remaining, compared against your forecasted costs, forecast remaining, and then the variance is there. So again, these are just some samples of the reports you can get to really track how your project spending is, is evolving and how your overall department spending is evolving as well based on the project spend. Okay, thanks, Bill. So now I can see how Clarity can uh, easily create those cost plans, set my budget, manage my up-to-date forecasts, and also report on those project finances. If we want to look at the maturity and adoption of processes and tools across financial management and across other disciplines, such as program management, governance, or portfolio, uh, or even other areas of project management, would you be able to help us? Sure, Chris. We have a uh, TPM, Maturity and Roadmap Assessment. And this is a standardized means for assessing, quickly assessing well, where are you now in terms of your strengths and weaknesses within your PPM uh, program, and then identifying where you need to focus attention if you're bringing the most value to your organization, and establishing a roadmap for uh, maturing the PPM um, you know, value and success within your company. Okay, thanks. Um, I look forward to seeing uh, some of the follow-up demonstrations of other Clarity Comp capabilities. Thank you again for the demonstration this afternoon. Digital Celerity, guiding your best path to BPM, ITSM, and enterprise agile best practices.